What is up, guys? This is Crypto Biz Bros, and we're going to show you how to use a copay wallet for your cryptocurrency. Correct. Okay, so that is the copay wallet, you guys. Um, is a wallet out there that we use that we personally like and trust with our, um, you know, Bitcoin in. It's not a third-party wallet like a uh, Coinbase out there that is holding your money. Um, it's actually like you're in charge of this wallet, okay? So it's literally like having a physical wallet in hand. Um, and we're gonna show you that they have a mobile app, which we like, and then they also have a desktop version, which is we're at the website right now. We downloaded it now. <laughs> we're gonna get this figured out. We downloaded it now. You can see it on the screen right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and press get started. Okay, after you do that, we're gonna let it load and it's just saying that, you know, this is secure, it's digital money. Um, we're gonna go ahead and press got it, move over. Um, you know, it, we're just, it's just basically saying that it's a currency, we understand that. And then we're gonna go ahead and create our Bitcoin wallet. As he said earlier, you control your Bitcoin with this, not them, so. Which is good, it's what you want, you guys. You don't want a third party holding your uh, your money. All right, well, I'll create it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and enter in um, the email. You want the crypto one? Yeah. And you can get news and updates on from BitPay. BitPay's another app, but they own Copay as well. Uh, we're looking more into that, and we may have another video on them as well. Yeah. So look out for that. Yeah, we'll definitely have a video on BitPay coming for you guys. Why is it not letting me go? <laughs> there we go. Right. You want to confirm your email? Just make sure. Okay, so this is um, very important, okay? So you want to back up your wallet just in case something happens, um, like, you know, your computer crashes or dies or something like that. The only way that you guys can get your money is if you have um, the backup word phrase okay so we're gonna go ahead and um, do that for you right now as an example so we're gonna go ahead and back that up so let's just make sure that no one's watching or anything like that um, you guys would click get started or, or got it and then it will take you and it will show you um, the word phrase hmm. We're not going to do that. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Sorry, guys. You don't get to see it. <laughs> That's ours. That's <laughs> exactly. Ours. <laughs> but so you go ahead and back it up. And once it's backed up, it should then take you to your actual wallet. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to pause this video now, and we're going to actually show you the inside of uh, Copay. Okay, guys. This is the Copay wallet after you did the get started and got your passphrase written down and entered and everything. Uh You'll start, it will have the recent transactions because you won't have any transactions, but it will, I don't believe it has your wallet just yet. You might have to, next to wallets, yes. click that little plus sign and make your new personal wallet, create shared wallet, join shared wallet, import wallet. And for most of you guys, you're just going to want to have your, you know, your personal wallet. This yeah. is going to be where you're storing your Bitcoin and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the one I have right now with the three Bitcoins in it that I purchased um, just not even an hour ago. So yeah, you guys, just so you know, we trust this wallet. We've been using it for a number of weeks now. Um, Jordan has, uh, you guys saw the amount, he's got about over $8,000 worth of Bitcoin sitting in there. So we really trust this, you guys. Um, why don't you go ahead and show them some of the features down at the bottom. Yeah, down at the bottom, you just have the home screen, which is just this. Uh, buy and sell Bitcoin next step you can buy Amazon gift cards and then you have receive this is going to be your QR code if someone has their phone camera enabled and they can send you money by scanning that with this app as well uh, that they can also have that little I think that's a 23 character code mm -hmm. it's that's very your public address yeah. yes it's your public address it's very case sensitive so make sure it is always correct and you guys then, want to double check that every time you use that. If you don't use the QR code, you just want to double check that. Make sure the uh, you know the 23 key pri or uh, public address is exactly the same. Yes, yes. And then you can click scan. That's also going to scan like the QR of your friend or anyone you're sending it to physically right there. Or 
uh, if you're at an ATM, you can scan it if you're going to buy Bitcoins from there. Exactly. So to give you guys an example, Jordan's a really nice guy. He's going to send me about eight grand worth of Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 so we're just going to show you um, what that would look like. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my wallet to receive. And then so it just picks it up just like that. And he it, can send me. You know, eight grand because he's just a really nice guy. <laughs> Eighty-five thousand Bitcoin. Yeah, no big, many, no yeah. big deal. <laughs> so that's how easy it is, though, guys. I mean, that's like that's dummy proof right there, which we really like. It's convenient and it's fast. Yeah. And as you saw, it just automatically sent me to the send one because I re I looked at his QR code and it sent me to that. You can also next to search and enter Bitcoin address, you can click that little square with a line through it, and that's the same thing. It's scanning it. Um, if you don't have a QR code like that, then you can just search or enter your Bitcoin address or their their friend's Bitcoin address, yep. and then you have all your settings right there. Under preferences, lock app, you can uh, have a pin disabled or lock with by fingerprint. Uh, I do by pin, obviously. You can, it's a four digit code. Um, yeah. And that all that is, you guys, is just like anytime you log out of the app um, and you wanna log back in, you have to have that pin, okay? Um, so it's just a safety feature if someone, you know, gets your phone, they're, they're not gonna access your wallet or anything like that unless they have your pin. And um, another cool thing that me, we and Jordan set up whenever we use this and we recommend for people is to set up a spending password. So God forbid, you know, someone does know your PIN, they can get in and they want to send Bitcoin to themselves. They actually have to have um, the password, the spending password to be able to do that. So it's just another security feature that we love, um, you know, with Copay. So I think it's personal wallet. Yeah, if you yeah. just go to your personal wallet in the settings, then you can click request spending password, enter whatever you want. It's a phrase. Uh, I'm not sure if it uses numbers, but if it does, you can put numbers. It's whatever you want. Yeah, it's just like a password for anything else, guys. It's just make sure that whenever you send Bitcoin to a, a store or a person, you have to verify this, uh, the spending password. Okay, so it's just a safety feature. Yes. Yeah. And then also I want to note, uh, under preferences, you have this Bitcoin network p fee policy. There is five different options. If you go to urgent, it takes your confirmation time lower, but your fee is way higher. That's the opposite of super economy. It'll be higher confirmation time, but lower fee. So it's up to you what you want. Uh, I like to have the super economy because I don't want to pay so much in fees yeah and with that you guys it, it really we're referring to the blockchain uh, once you send or receive money uh, from the Bitcoin it goes through what's called the blockchain network and that's just confirming it goes through uh, you know confirmations and that's just saying that it's gonna go through faster or slower and you're gonna get charged a little bit more a little bit less depending on the time yeah, though well, that's simple as that. Copay is so simple and easy to use. Uh, I recommend it to you guys. We both recommend it. We're both using it, mm -hmm. uh, and I hope you guys like that. Yeah, hope you guys like the app. We'll be making more videos for you guys in the future with Copay. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment um, below. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, looking forward to talking to you guys soon. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>